and welcome back to Joe BRC. And here we are with the next part for the UDR. And <clears throat> you may have seen in the description, I may have written on there, it's the shocks. We've got the shocks in for it. And if you can see behind the box here as well, I have fitted the front calipers on there. So I did get those in, didn't bother doing a video on it because it is literally just a screw down from top and the calipers go on. So that's the front calipers. Try and get it closer so you can have a look. So you can see black caliper, blue disc, all good. Goes with black and blue. So we've got those on there, both sides, front, left and right. And in here we have upgraded blue shocks so gt is it gtr i think gtr version of the shocks so all metal all blue and the black obviously springs so we've got those in let's get these open and start getting the front done so we can get these fitted and start getting this thing a little bit more up in the air and more together sort of lock everything in so we'll get these open in a minute and then we'll start fitting the fronts. Okay, so that's the fronts out. So they are all solid metal, nice blue anodized to go with the rest. And they do have quite a sort of compression rate in them. So I can hear oil in them. So they have been oiled, but um, just a case of getting them on there see what happens and then maybe we'll have to take them off and reset but um for now they seem okay as they are so they're going to go straight in so what you need to do i'll start with right hand side and i've already taken off <clears throat> i've already taken off the front bumper so you basically just two screws in the sides take that off that gives you access through to this hole here which gives you access to the top mounts and a pin to go well so it's basically just one long screw i had to sort of try and find this screw at the right length but it's a pretty standard sort of screw to go straight through as long as it goes through the top of here and it holds pretty tight it's it's going to work and then the bottom the screws are there from when we bought when I bought these arms so two screws in the bottom let's take those ones out and it basically goes <clears throat> non-spring on in the front spring on at the back straight up in there you just drop through the front arm down into that for this one And just crush it up into there like so and then this one at the back pushing it through there and pushing it up through there and then it's just a matter of trying to get this this screw through the top and lining them all up try and get this one in like that And this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to go and get this pin in and come back to you in a minute. Okay, and that's one side done. It did take a bit of um, fiddling on that bottom pin. You have to; it, These bottom pieces have to be the right rotation to go into this arm. That's all you need to do. And then straight in, put a bit of pressure on the, on the actual bottom so it's, the screw will go in nicely. And it will go in. Pins come out for those damn brakes again. Gonna have to sort something out with those, I think. But uh, yeah, that's it for that one. We'll get on to the other one. And that's it. Both shocks on the front. Looking pretty good. It's all working rather well. So, on to the rears, I think. We'll get those done. And should be all sorted. And uh, there it is, 
front and rear all done. We're looking really good in the back there now. So proper suspension on there and the front as well. And that's both sides. So shocks are on. Yes, we haven't got the the rear straps, limit straps on there, and we haven't got the the finishing tow bar. But uh, those are coming. They're on their way, so we'll get that on there, and they'll that will be finished. And then it'll just be a matter of get some wheels on here and we've got a rolling chassis ready to go and then all it is is your battery pieces the doors and things like that then the servo bracket engine mount and all the electrics and we're done and then there'll be finishing touches like the interior panel and the actual um full body i'm going i think with a clear body and then custom color and same with the interior clear clear interior and custom paint that but for now that's the shocks done that's the big pieces out of the way and it's actually looking now all together and looking like something that that would actually work and more like a truck if i put wheels on this it would be proper finished and rolling down the road so that's the episode done for now. Next episode, we'll get those um, limit straps in. They are a nice piece. The, the, the sort of best you can get. I think most people know what I'm going to be getting for those. And we'll get this tie rod, tie bar, whatever. Get that fitted as well. So that'll get the rear completely finished. Exactly the same as the front. <clears throat> And we'll be almost there. And I have got, I've got to get a set of um, calipers for the rear as well. But yeah, we're all good so far. So join us next time when we get those rear little pieces finished. But for now, that's that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like if you want, if you need to, and join us next time. So bye bye for now.